Okay, let's talk about money, more specifically your money. How much money are you going to save and how much is going to get back into your paycheck after the tax bill passes the House and the Senate and heads to the president's desk? One of the guys that had a lot of influence on some of the deductions that stayed in the tax bill, specifically the uh, real estate tax deduction, is Congressman Tom MacArthur from New Jersey, and he joins me now. Congressman, welcome back to Chasing News. Thanks, Bill. Happy to be here. So I, as I understand it now, the, uh, the mortgage interest deduction is in and it's up to $750,000, which is going to cover pretty much yeah. everybody. Uh, as far as the real and estate... And you need to just remember, you'd need a home worth a lot more than seven fifty dollars to have a $750,000 mortgage. Right. That And then the, tell me about the $10,000 uh, deduction on your state and local taxes. Well, uh, as you know, it was not in either the House or the Senate blueprint originally. Uh, we were able to get it into the House bill. And then I called Senator Collins, Susan Collins up in Maine, and asked her if she would put it into the Senate bill. Uh, Maine's not a high tax state, but she did that for the, for the sake of the process. I, I'm grateful for that. But I think this is going to be better before the day is over. And you'll be able to fill up that $10,000 with either property tax or income tax. So, so even if you're a renter, renter, a renter could benefit. Yes, or, or the average property tax bill in my district is uh, 6300 You'd be able to use up the rest of the $10,000 with, uh, with your income taxes. So people making less than a million dollars, including renters, are going to benefit from this. Here's the question. Does it pass? I think it passes. All right, Congressman, thank you for what you've done to get this thing moving as fast as you did. And uh, let's hope we get this done by Christmas. Appreciate your time. You bet. Thanks, Bill. All right. Have a great weekend. And OK, let's bring back our A-plus panel to break it down. I'm joined today by Lisa Durden, pop culture commentator. Lisa, always good to have you on the show. It's always good to be here. You're livening it up a bit, I'll tell you yes, that. Yes, purple Not lipstick with the tie. Not without controversy right here. Yes. <laughs> and Bob Bianchi is here, former Morris County prosecutor. Lisa, what do you think? Some are saying that this is about time we did something with the tax bill. Uh, you know, we we'll go back to 1986 was the last time they reformed the tax code. Some people are saying it's about time, but it's not poor people. You know, these middle class and rich folks are crying uh, uh, like babies because they're going to have to pay uh, 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 some extra money for this tax bill. But really, when you think about the tax bill, it's like a monarchy. America's turning into a monarchy. The poor folks are taking care of all of the powerful rich folks. This is a monarchy. Just don't call it a democracy. Just call it a monarchy. This is a terrible so, bill. Bob, somewhere in the neighborhood of 80 plus percent of the taxes are paid by less than 20 percent of the people. That's either in the state of New Jersey. It's nationally, you know, plus or minus a few percentage. But a very small percentage of people pay the lion's share of the taxes. Uh, there is an argument to be made that some of those producers uh, are going to be taxed a little more with this bill. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, Bill, it won't surprise you to know that I'm against everything about this for one major reason. It's about process as opposed to policy here. Why are we not having hearings? Why are we jamming this down, changing things, rechanging things, just to have a Christmas quote unquote gift that I have a funny suspicion will somehow in the end benefit the rich and not the middle class or you know poor, what? no matter what anybody says they well, get it, they uh, have it. I mean, you're wrong on its merits. I mean, there's, if you're making then let's have a hearing. If you're making more, less than a million dollars, you're gonna benefit let's from this. Let's have a hearing. If you're making less but you know than a million dollars, it's still could rich. Take, we could edit you what you just said, Bob. Year? We could edit what you just said take it out, put a Republican label on you, and mm -hmm. say, this man is talking about Obamacare. Because that's what the Republicans no, were saying during Obamacare. And if I recall, Obamacare. at least in Absolutely. this case, it was both sides Absolutely. read it was right. you know, but, but you had, really? you there, no, there is no debate here. on one of the biggest policy Wasn't changes it in this country. Wasn't it Pelosi that said we got to hey, pass let me, it and then read let it? Let me anyway, question. If Obama was so bad, why do you keep bringing him up to follow the same process here, assuming that it was Partisan talking points. But anyway, the good news is, that uh, it looks like this is going to pass. And uh, I think if you make less than a million dollars. You mean the bad dollars, news is going to pass? The, no, the good news no, is. No, the bad news the, is it's going to pass. The good news is because anybody <laughs> making less than a million dollars, they're going to see money starting in February with the new It won't be people policy. making $30,000 okay. right. or less. Let's leave it there. Good. <laughs> I mean, you rich people kill me. All right.